morning and welcome to worship at First United Methodist Church of Lebanon, Missouri. We are so happy to have you in online worship with us. Today is the fourth Sunday in the season of Advent in the year 2020. And as we are moving through the season of Advent, we are very aware of the various traditions that are being changed, kind of turned upside down because of the COVID coronavirus. Because we're not meeting in in-person worship, one of the things that we're missing is the usual cantata, where our choir comes before the congregation and shares the sounds of the season through hymns and Christmas carols and, and just wonderful music that reminds us of the coming of our Christ child and just elates our hearts. So as the music staff and the audiovisual folks and worship team and I were talking, we tried to consider what could we do to be able to bring that familiar feeling of that cantata to you. So this morning, we're presenting to you what we're calling a COVID cantata. This is a, a selection of various Christmas carols that you will sing along to. Some of uh, our folks have presented some special music that they'll be sharing with you, and there'll be some instrumentals that you'll be listening to as well. So many things in our life have kind of been turned upside down this year in the year 2020, and we hope that today this COVID cantata will bring to you just some sense of normalcy and some sense of, of the traditions that we've always had at First United Methodist Church in this Advent season. So as you prepare your time of worship, I recommend that you grab a cup of coffee, gather your family around, get ready to sing some carols together, and enjoy this time of worship through song and music. Said, the Lord is with you. What a gift. 
saved in the cross. Emmanuel, God is with us. We light these candles with peace in our hearts for the promise of proximity, the nearness of God. Even when we forget to listen, to lean into that presence, God is always as close as our own breath. This, in a confused and confusing world, is a peace that passes all understanding. It is the peace that knows that company is coming. Oh, come, oh, come, and man. Good morning, friends. I invite you to participate in this time of prayer. I have my new prayer shawl gifted to me. We have a prayer shawl ministry here at First United Methodist Church, Lebanon. You call the office Monday through Thursday, 9 to noon. Someone could answer questions about that. If you know someone who might be in need of a prayer shawl, um, they're amazing. And they are crafted with deep love and many prayers. Today, I wanted us to think about as we light these candles, they are so significant to us. Um, hope, peace, joy, last week. And this week is love. And the thought is, God loved us before we even knew it. He's loved us. He's loved creation. And even when we forget it, even when we get really tired and a little crabby, and that could be a lot of us these days, um, God still loves us. So I invite you to pray with me this morning. Holy and loving God, even when we are a bit thoughtless, when we're tired and we forget that you love us no matter what, in this moment, we renew ourselves, we revive ourselves, we ask, come Holy Spirit, come and pour into us that we might be the light and the love for someone who doesn't know you. We think of those who mourn, we lift them up. Those who are facing great sadness, those who are afraid, those who are sick. We ask God that you would use us to comfort them and help them. We praise your holy name. We make a joyful noise to you. Singing, 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 singing. That we love you. We lift this prayer in the amazing name of Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I pray that you have an amazing week. We're coming up into busy, 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 even busier. Um, take some time for yourself. Maybe not get caught up quite so much in the busyness. Remember to be still. 
and know that God is God. Amen? Amen. We have a few announcements to share with you this morning. First, we have Christmas Eve services being offered online this year, one at 7 p.m. and the other at 11 p.m. The 7 p.m. service will be more of the traditional hour-long Christmas Eve service that we usually have that will include communion and candlelight. And then the 11 p.m. service will be more of an abbreviated service that will also include communion and candlelight. Be sure and stop by the church office to pick up your communion cups and your candles for the candlelight service so that you'll have them at home to be able to use during the worship service. Also on Christmas Eve, we will be offering a walk through communion and prayer time. This will be from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Christmas Eve. If you're interested in attending that, please park in the parking lot at the corner of 4th and Madison Street. You'll be entering through the sanctuary door uh, nearest the piano. And ushers and greeters will be there to guide and direct you through the sanctuary for the communion and the prayer time. Be sure and wear your mask. We'll be practicing social distancing during that time as well. Also for you to know, the church office will be closed on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, as well as New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. If you are looking to get any year-end year giving or offerings into the church office and you're coming in one of the days that we're closed, uh, be aware that there is a drop box at the church office entrance. Uh, there's a dark black drop box that you can leave your offering in right there and we will pick it up. That would be all of our announcements for today.
As we continue to enjoy our COVID cantata this Advent year of 2020, I would like for us just to take a moment to think about the importance of hymns and music and song and carols, uh, what the importance are that they are to this season. Um, so much of what we know and understand in popular culture about Christmas, about Jesus' birth, comes to us first through Christmas carols, through hymns, through songs of the season, uh, even those that are in popular culture that sing about Christmas. Think, if you will, of your first recollection, your first understanding of what Christmas really was about. Think of the times that you were a young person singing some of those Christmas carols for school programs or maybe at a church Christmas program. Oftentimes, those songs stick in our minds for much longer, and definitely we can memorize and remember the words to those songs much more easily than we do with scripture or that we remember a sermon even. So these songs, these hymns, these carols, they bring to us an understanding of what our faith is about, what the basis of God sending his one and only son, Jesus Christ, into the world is really about. And if you think about it, so many of these hymns, so many of these Christmas carols point us directly in the direction of God's never-ending, grace-filled love for humanity. If you think about it, we're not only reminded of Away in a Manger and Silent Night and We Three Kings and all of those wonderful hymns and carols, but we're reminded how love is so much a part of what God has done for us. Love is the basis of everything God has created and given and blessed us with. So this Advent, as we continue to celebrate through this cantata, remember that God's undying love is always with you every single day, not just Christmas Day, but every single day of the year. Hi, Roberta. How are you? Well, it's nearly Christmas and I can't get all the Christmas songs out of my head. Do you hear that music in the background or is that just me? I hear it. Okay. You know, I went to the supermarket and they were playing Christmas songs one after the other. I tried to go to sleep and the carols just kept going round and round in my head. Ding dong, ding dong. Oh, can you please, please help me? Well, Roberta, at Christmas time, people like to sing songs that remind them of the very first Christmas when Jesus was born and to get into the Christmas spirit. So this is Christmas, and what have we done? On the first Christmas, we read in the Bible that an angel spoke to young Mary and told her that she was going to have a special baby boy. She was to name him Jesus, which means Savior. What child is this? Yes, that's right. Then Joseph and Mary trusted that the angel was the messenger from God, and so they set off on a journey to... Oh, little town of Bethlehem. Where there was no room for them in the inn. Mary and Joseph ended up in the stable where the... Cattle are lowing. The baby awakes. Probably the little drummer boy woke him up, right? No, Roberta. There was no drummer boy. But 
there may have been some animals because baby Jesus was soon to be born and put to rest in the cattle feed box with some soft hay. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. Some shepherds come to see the baby and tell an amazing story of how they watch their fox by night. That would be watched by their flocks of sheep. They told of how that night, a silent night. It may have been silent at first, but then an angel appeared and then lots and lots of angels filled the sky singing. Hark the herald angels sing. The angel told the shepherds to come and find the special baby boy. Once in royal city of David. The baby who is the savior, the newborn king. When the shepherds found the baby, they were amazed and wanted to... Jingle bells, jingle bells. No, Roberta. They wanted to tell everyone who listened that the Messiah, Christ child, had been born. O oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Roberta, I hope you get some rest now. When I think of all those angels singing, I get perspired. Wait, inspired. Christmas is just so amazing. To think that God's Son should come to the earth and live here, I know it's different for puppets, but I wonder, do people still share this amazing good news? Hmm, I think I will find a few more carols to hum myself to sleep. Goodbye, Dawn. Goodbye, Roberta.
of wandering love Oh morning stars together proclaim the holy birth and praises sing to God the King and peace to men on earth O holy child of Bethlehem Descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in. Be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, their great glad tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide with us. Our Lord Emmanuel.
today. If you would like, you may navigate to the church website and there you will find an online giving button where you are able to safely give through the church website um, to the church you're offering today. If you'd prefer, you can mail your check-in to P.O. Box 470 here in Lebanon and we'll receive that in the postal mail. Or you could drop your check off at the church Monday through Thursday, 9 to 1. Keep in mind that the church office will be closed on Christmas Eve and on New Year's Eve. Let's pray as we begin to prepare for this time of offering. Father God, we give you thanks for the beauty of this season, for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, we give you thanks, God, for the many blessings that you place in our lives. And as we return a portion of those blessings back to you through this offering, we ask, God, that you will guide and direct our church to use these resources to further the work of your kingdom here in this community and all across your earth. We love you, Lord. We thank you for the ways that you bless us. And we pray that that which we give will be a blessing to others. And all God's people say, Amen.
concerning our King. Our King is well dressed in silks of the best, in ribbons so rare, no King can your Advent season, that it's brought you closer to God and closer to your understanding of what you're preparing your heart for during Advent. As you look forward to Christmas Eve, where we celebrate once again the birth of the Christ child, God's greatest love coming down from heaven to earth for you and for me. May you take this day and the days that are coming up toward Christmas, and may you focus upon the love that God has for you, your, the meaning and purpose of Christmas in your life, and may you always, always be blessed by these songs, by this music, by these hymns and carols. May they guide you and direct you toward God's love each and every day. Have a blessed Sunday and a great week. I look forward to seeing you again on Christmas Eve.